Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vinyl Vinyl Vlog. Today's video, this is a banger, and it's brought to you by Liz. Upon Desolation, by the Bay's Mortuous. Sophomore full length, four years after the critically acclaimed debut album. Mortuous returns with their second full-length offering upon Desolation. Carbonized Records, 100% put this out. I thought they would have done this in conspiracy with Tank Crimes, but yeah, to my knowledge, this is a Carbonized only release, which is awesome. Because Carbonized right now is killing it. Mostly it's Bay Area, like some of the best from the Bay. Yeah. But Colin Tarvin, Mike Beams, Clint Roach, and Chad Gailey. Chad Gailey's one of my favorite drummers in extreme music. So, you know, it's just one of those things that just makes sense. But holy shit. And again, I have to just point this out. A uh, heavy hails from a cosmetic perspective, real quick. And this is just me being a nerd. Here's the last full length through wilderness. Now check out the cosmetics for the new record upon desolation. The same, like, layout, which, again, hell yeah. Like, you're on the right track. Keep this up. They're both gatefolds with the same type of layout. Again, band photo, lyrics. Band photo, lyrics, extra artwork. I forget if we have extra art here. Kinda. But on this release, we have Colin Tarvin, Mike Beams, Clint Roach, and Chad Galley. And I'm a big Mortuous fan. Also, I love how the logo pops. It really pops here. Like, I know, I'm a nerd. I'll shut up about the record cosmetics and artwork. Although it is fantastic. I feel like the art should also like represent part of what the record sounds like. And this really nails it with Through Wilderness and even more so with Upon Desolation. Like, holy shit, was I blown away with this bad boy. Like the production, the bass work, the whole rhythm section's ridiculous on here. But the songs are just amazing. Like, it's not as doomy as Through Wilderness, but it's a lot more, like, brutal and just fucking awesome. I, I, don't, I don't really know how to explain it, but, like, I'm a big Mortuous fan and always have been. I mean, fuck. I'm not lying here. It's a 2012 demo. And like, I think it's great, you know, just how far Mortuous have come at this point. And I finally get to see them live on the 7th with Blood Incantation, God Is War, and Full of Hell, and uh, I think somebody else. I for, vermin Womb. Yeah, it's going to be fucking sick. Especially 
because Mortuous, although I haven't seen them live yet, I need to get to Ascended Dead also somehow. I'm on the guest list. I just need to get to Kung Fu Necktie. But nobody around me is going, and that's a bummer. So I might walk. Seriously, I, I, I'll fucking walk. I, I'm not missing Ascended Dead, like, for real. But just look at this artwork, and then I'm going to talk about the music. Because this is just gorgeous and you still have some of your doomy parts don't worry little disembowelment love going on that was awesome Mortuous really knocked this out of the park. And, you know, I kind of had high expectations here. Because, again, I, I'm not biased here. If I thought this was mediocre, I would say, eh. But no. Like, if you don't know, Chad also is in, like, Necrot. He's a Vastum now. This is, in my opinion, Chad's best drumming performance. Really pretty colored vinyl. But this sounds... Massive on vinyl. It also sounds massive on cassette. Killer magnetics. And something else I like. Because again, like I said, this is kind of nerdy and doesn't matter. But it kind of does. It shows that the label gives a fuck. Sorry, let me put this back real quick while I... Just do this. Ah, la, la, la. Ah, la, la, la. Boom. Upon desolation. But it's not a windowless tape shell. Well, it doesn't matter. Because what matters is that right there. And it sounds amazing. Like, it really does. It's like, I fucking love death metal on cassette, so that's the only thing I'm biased about here. Sometimes I hate when I get a full length, and it sounds like shit. What I mean by that is, it's very low. Like, the mix is just kind of... I don't want to say, like, cash grab, but, like, you know, it kind of just feels like it was thrown on tape to make a couple extra dollars. Like... Where other times, it's like, alright, holy shit. Obviously, like... For example, Blood Incantation, Interdimensional Extinction EP. Like, obviously, you know, look at that fucking thing. To me, like, that's just... It's just gorgeous. And that sounds nerdy again, but, like, it's just so classic and clean. It's one of the things I, I like about windowless shells. Like, they're just very clean. But just the way that this is all laid out, I, I just love it. Compared to 
hidden history, which sounds great, but it's just on a different type of cassette tape. It's not as clean, but it's still fucking sick as shit. Especially with, like, you know, the Anunnaki font and everything. Like, that's badass. And you get an O card if you have the original Dark Descent pre-order. But, um... Yeah, like, even going to Star Spawn, like, Star Spawn, to me, is one of the best-sounding cassettes I have. And again, just as clean as can be cosmetically. Also, it's an analog recording. I'm not sure when it comes to the new Mortuous, but I'm pretty sure that Greg Wolf, I'm, I'm going to guess here. Drum roll, please. Recorded, mixed, and mastered by Greg Wilkinson at Earhammer Studios, Oakland, California, December 2021. Fucking A. That's twice this week now that Greg has made a return to the channel. The new Asphalix and the new Mortuous. I, I really love Greg's work. He's fucking so good at making already good music sound even better in the production process. But the lyrics here, I, I really, you know, they're just really well written. Like, I love Colin Tarvin and, like, Mike Beam's imagination on some of these tracks. And... On a track like Defile by Fire, like, some of the little lyrics are by Mike, some are by Colin, and, like, I just think that's cool, like, I would love to, you know, share my brain lyrically with, like, someone I'm making music with, but, um, yeah, the artwork, fantastic, we have a guest performance, Andrea Morgan on violin, Mike Beam has vocals, piano, Colin Tarvin, guitar and vocals, Clint Roach on bass, and Chad Galey, one-footed blast on drums. All music and lyrics written by Mortuous. And like, with a track like Nothing, Gateway's twist to unreality, inexistence, Immolated effigy, ritualistic deconstructing, travel through the realms of nothing. This, just, if, trust me, if you're a fan of death metal that's littered, littered with doomy elements, you can't go wrong with Mortuous. But this is more just straight up fucking death metal. And it's just done at the highest level. Like, Mortuous is showing, like, all, like, people that think, like, oh, you know, and I, I mean, no offense by this, like, if you think Gate Creeper is, like, the heaviest death metal band in the, on the planet, yeah, you're fucking dead wrong to begin with, but, like, you know, when it comes to modern death metal in America, like, this is definitely one of the better bands and records to come out of 2021. Like, I'm completely blown, blown away with how good Upon Desolation <laughs> truly is. And again, like, I get that maybe not everybody got their orders yet, but haven't really heard too many people talking about this. And if you're sleeping on this, you're fucking up. For real. This is so fucking good. Like, for real. And I know I said that a million times, but Carve, Nothing, Metamorphosis, Days of Grey, Defiled by Fire, Burning Still, Ash and Dismay, and Graveyard Rain make up Upon Desolation, and it's just fucking amazing. From start to finish, all killer, no filler, crushing, doomy death metal 
for fans of fucking death metal. Also, I'd say early Paradise Lost. Like, there were parts on here where I was kind of like, whoa, that sounds like something off of Gothic. And, like, you know, that's a good thing. Because, like, the last album I felt was kind of, you know, a tip of the hat to, like, My Dying Bride at times, riff-wise. Like, there were just parts where I was like, whoa, this sounds like something from, like, the Peaceville 3. But, like, here, like, no, this is, like, you know, there's parts where, like, like I said, I'm like, whoa, that sounds like Paradise Lost, but at the end of the day, Mortuous sound like, well, you know what? Fucking Mortuous. When a band's been around, you know, for a long, a, over five years and have... See, a sophomore record can either be amazing or you fall into the sophomore slump territory. Now, some people will consider, like, I'm just looking for an example. So, this is the closest example I have. Now, I don't agree with this, but a lot of people will say, Morbid Angel, Lest Are the Sick, is a sophomore slump. I disagree, and technically, Altars of Madness would be the sophomore full length, if we're going, you know, by counting Abominations of Desolation, which technically is the first Morbid Angel full length record from 1986. This is not the new Morbid Angel album, but the band's first unreleased studio recording dating from 1986. For some reason, I thought it said that this was, um, you know, originally meant to be the first full length, but it does not. I forget, though, off the top of my head, so if I'm wrong, I apologize. But, yeah. Listen to Morbid Angel, obviously. Pick your poison, though. Because this video is about Mortuous. And I'm sure you can find some Morbid Angel comparisons. And if you do, cool. But, like I said, to me, Mortuous just sound like a killer Bay Area death metal band. And... You know how the Bay Area had a killer thrash scene, like in the 80s? The Bay Area has probably one of the best death metal scenes in the country. And I've been saying this since the start of this channel. Like, along with the Pacific Northwest, uh, Illinois State, yeah, New York, some of the best cities and states for death metal. And... You know, NorCal, yeah. To me, Mortuous, definitely, like, as much as I l love Necrot, uh, gotta go with Mortuous here. And even, like, you know, Vastum, Asphalix, like, I'm a big Mortuous fan, but at the end of the day, it's one of those I really can't pick my favorite, like, you know, like I said, I mean, how do I compare Upon Desolation to, like, Blood Offerings? There are two different styles of death metal. And that's the thing I think a lot of people don't understand. Like, there's different styles of death metal. Not everything is just, <clears throat> you know? Like, and we all know that, that have made it this far into the video. But does anyone know what's going on with Necrot? Like, because I guess, you know, touring is 98% back. I haven't heard anything from Necrot since Mor Mortal came out. And I know Mortal was kind of also like one of those releases that kind of was, I don't want to say ignored because it wasn't ignored. 
I mean, I, I fucking, I, I love this album. It took me a little bit to really, you know, compare it to Blood Offerings. Like, this is an example. Like, again, I would not, I would not call this a sophomore slump, but, you know, I would rather listen to the Labyrinth demo compilation. Like, this is good and everything, but I really, and this sounds stupid, but I feel like losing the Demon Gram on the actual cosmetics just somehow, I don't know. I feel like it just made this, I don't want to say bad luck, because again, this is not a bad record whatsoever. But compared to Blood Offerings, oh, sorry. Like, Blood Offerings is one of the best debut records from a band, like, in recent memory. And this is 2017, I think. 2017 might have been 2016. But, um, fuck, doesn't say. Let me check, uh, really, I'm sorry. Um, this is ending up a little, you know, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I'm a big neck rock fan, like I said, you know. And Chad drums in neck rock. But all of the records up until the last one kind of had the same cosmetics. Like you had the logo on the A side and the Demon Gram, which I still want tattooed on me, on the B side. So this is the Labyrinth demo compilation. Tank Crimes Records. This is essential shit, by the way. Like, if you have never heard The Labyrinth, oh man, <laughs> you're in for a fucking treat. But when it comes to Blood Offerings, like, again, and I, I know it's just a little cosmetic detail, but, like, I feel like for some reason, like, losing the Demon Gram cosmetically, it just, I don't know. Like, it just, I really thought Mortal was going to, like, just be this, like, 100% banger of a record, like, Blood Offerings, and I legit don't hear people talk about it. It's like that last Tomb Mold record. Like, people still, when they talk to me about Tomb Mold, talk about Manner of Infinite Forms or the debut or the demos, even. And to me, like I said, you know, as much as I love Blood Offering, Blood Offerings, like the demo compilation, The Labyrinth, this is also essential listening. And I would say even Mortal. It's a killer slab of American death metal, but like, it's just not as, I don't know. It just feel, it just feels a little bit different than the first two. And not, you know, like I said, not really in a bad way. It just sounds just different. But I would like to see some of those songs live. That, that's all. So if anybody knows what's going on, that would be great. And I do have an extra poster here. Um, somebody might get this. Here it is. As a prize. Like, if you want, I'll sign it for you or some shit. Um, I'll figure out some poor, some sort of contest or something. Because I actually, I don't have that much room. And I have a lot of posters at the moment. But this one's probably going up down in the uh, Milmont Mausoleum. So is this Nuclear War Now one. I might give this Devil Master one away. I don't know, though. 
again, I, I kind of want to, I kind of want to hang this up down the basement, but also it has the artwork. I'm really stoked that, you know, like, see, I have the new Weregoat poster back there. All the other Weregoat posters are on the ceiling. Last Days of Humanity, I moved over there. So, I, and like, I can't, I'm sorry, folks, I can't part with this bad boy. This is something that I just, yeah, I can't do it. This may be... If you know what this is, it's huge though, but uh, oh yeah, petrification, but when it comes to Mortuous Upon Desolation, one of the best American death metal releases of 2022, and yeah, just one of the best death metal releases of the year, and so stoked for these dudes right now, because they are just killing it three u.s tours hell yeah and so stoked to finally get to see them live i might have to get colin to uh sign the demo just to be a nerd about it let's see who played on the on the demo i know we're far into this video but real quick i'm just curious because i forget off the top of my head Whoa, Colin's wearing an Immortal Fate t-shirt. That's fucking sick. Alright, let's just see who... Let's just see the lineup. So, Colin, Mike... Colin, Mike, Cole, C-O-L, on drums... Nick on bass, and Al on vocals. So yeah, that's a lot, that's a big difference. I love that photo, the photo's fucking cool as shit. The Transylvanian recordings, well, Transylvanian tapes release of the 2012 demo. I know there's a demo compilation, I, I forget who put it, I think Tank Crimes and Carbonized. Did like a CD of it, but um, extremely rotten productions has you covered Europe. If you have been wondering, what about us? I'm sorry if it took 27 minutes, but extremely rotten productions has you covered on the cassette and vinyl. I know that 100%. I don't know about the CD, but I'm guessing they have that under control also. But I'm not positive so i'll put links in the video description and you can figure it out but here's the cassette carbonized records mortuous upon desolation absolute banger if you're a fan of death metal that happens to have some doomy elements but is top shelf death metal mortuous and upon desolation have you 100% covered? It's a total riffarama, and I love it. Every song is just so fucking good. Hell, like, hell yeah. It's one of those records you listen to, and at the end of it, you just have a shit eating grin. It's like, fuck yes. This is what I wanted. So, Hails to Mortuous. Thank you, Liz, for making sure the channel had a copy. And you maniacs at home, thanks for watching. As always, you fucking rule. Hails. Yeah.